probably shouldn't do this intro like standing in the middle of the street but I was running late this morning so I wasn't able to do the intro at home but basically today I am going oh Jesus that's what happens when you try and vlog and take a video I think you fell in the middle of the street because I'm wearing heels but um uh, let me just get to the hotel and then I'll do my intro there because uh, clearly health and safety is an issue trying to vlog and do everything <laughs> Exciting. You're beautiful, don't worry about it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated, haven't heard that in a while. Ah, oh, very good. Well, there you go. Thank Enjoy you. anyway. Have a good later. one. Thanks, bye. <laughs> okay, let's start this properly again. Right? Let me catch my breath. Ooh. Hi. Girl, bye. <laughs> Why are you trying to disrespect me and respect me like that? Excuse me, I have to. Can you do that again for the camera, for the vlog? <laughs> You're actually silly. How good. Hi. What's the story? Oh, now being nice if I meet you. I'll oh, say I know. Spend like yeah, you know, the gram and stuff. The gram. Yes. Um, Sorry, I'm just quick pick my camera and people's faces. Fine. Um, are you a panelist? Or yes. Okay, cool. So you can take a seat in the front row. Okay. And yeah, there's a gift bag and just a sheet if you want to write any notes or anything like that. If you need anything, let me know. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I mean I want some prosecco. Okay, and maybe some MMs, like... but just <laughs> green ones. <laughs> That'd be cool if I could do that for you. Joking. Next time, send it for I'm joking. No, I'm okay. joking. So yeah, you can Hi, Hi. All right. Thank you. But anyways, let me just do a proper intro to this vlog. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda Meng and I am here at the FEMA, I can never pronounce this word, entrepreneur. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. See, the English is good over there, not over here. But um, my hair's just been taken by the wind there. But I'm here and we are basically, you know, female empowerment, women in business, and I'm one of the panelists. I mean, I'm, you know, majestic lengths or whatever, but yeah, a humble brag. So it's it's amazing. There's a lot of people here. Um, and our guest speaker is Nisiti, and she is over there getting her makeup did by faces by Ihaku, Ihaku. I can never say her name but I'll leave her Instagram below um, so we're here now and we're just gonna have a little look around and sit down while we make wait for the event to start so welcome back 2020 this girl I'm gonna link her Instagram <laughs> Loon to love. Loon to love. That's how you say yeah, exactly, it. Yeah. She, she, you got a baby too, right? Yeah, we got babies. She's nine months and I miss her. But like, when I left the house, she didn't even look at me. She That's what they do. She literally was like to my mom. And That's like, what they wow. do. My daughter was the same. I was so, there like, bye. She and she's bit, like, like like the only reason she cried was because she was like where my food at ah, that's you can go that's but i want my food but yeah so check her out best dancers in dublin thank you yeah yeah i'm there with my two left feet i'm sure i'm sure dean can tell you that she taught me to dance once and it was it was a horrendous
Yes. Do sexy heels. No, do you know? Do you know? I do want to do a heels class. I do. No, I can do with people. I can do with people, girl. I don't mind. It's ten euro, isn't it? Okay. I should be saying that. And she smells so good. She smells so good. Let me go and sit down and shut my ass up. So while we're just waiting for the event to start, just having a little chat. This is Mimi. Hi guys. I'm gonna put her in I'm gonna put Instagram as on the screen as we go. Billy kiss. Hi guys. Mio. My Prince. Girl, I pronounce it the Zimbabwean way. <laughs> Sorry. And Gabriella. Gabriella, what's your Insta? And Gabriella underscore. <laughs> so we have molded inside out, and she also has her business. Mm, I'm about to say it again, and she just told me right to say it. Mayo. M I O print. M I O print. Yes. Oh, you, you separate the words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Okay. Um, and then we have blogger. Really, I was just asking her who takes her pictures. Yeah, and basically I get anyone to take my photos. So anyone who basically can take photos, my sisters, my yeah. brother, my mom, my friend, anybody. Like you just have to ask anyone. And then usually I use my iPhone. So really? I phone X to take my photos. And as long as there's good lighting and a decent location, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need basically. Wow, because I struggled with when I was blogging. I always felt like I had to do it like professionally. Oh no. I had to collaborate with photographers and it was like super hard. That was me before because I've been blogging for so long like my first year or my first two years where with photographers I was like I had this misconception but that's the thing the game has changed that my photos have to be top notch quality yes. I have to work with the best photographers my Instagram has to look like you know what I mean yeah. like yeah. the whole exactly. depth and the everything aesthetic has, there's a no, certain aesthetic it's mad because need. now the game has changed and people don't even want to talk about no. like I've noticed when I post a photo if it's a photographer versus my iPhone my iPhone photo gets more like than more engagement more everything Thing. Like, do you know what I mean? People wow. don't want editorial photos. Not they anymore. want something that's realistic, that's relatable. Well, honestly, that's they can do the themselves. Game. We all have an iPhone. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. why not give them what they have? At this point, you have a decent phone in this life at this point. As long as you have anything from the iPhone 7, going up, the quality is really good. I have to say, even when I upgraded, because I've had both Samsung and iPhone, the pictures were bumped. Honestly. So that's all you need. So good right. lighting, good location. I'll extend the same question. Your pictures. I know she has a website and the, those are photo shoots, yeah? yeah. Um, but for your own personal Instagram or your blog, yes. do you do you put professional? No, no. Personal is what I'm just saying. I, to be honest, for me, it was finding the time mm -hmm. um, and the money as well. So there's that piece Girl, so people so, don't talk about it. Yeah, it's money as well. It's, you know, you're kind of, you thinking to yourself, how much am I making with the blog? Like, I'm, you know, I'm not professional yet. Yes. I'm spending so much. You have to also buy an outfit, finding the photographer that was, you know, kind of work with your budget. Yes. So I think I've been using my phone as well recently. Yeah. 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 She's my like, something that makes it like very more, um, very much more like, authentic, authentic, and even relatable. Because sometimes people feel like, oh, if it's professional or something, something like, that. like that, but you look, we're taking something that if it's, if it went to be casual, if it's in like a restaurant, anyone can go to a restaurant to get and take your picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the thing, because that's one thing I always used to struggle with, and that's half the reason that I kind of had my blogging fell off. Mm -hmm. Because I just felt like, you know, comparison is a thief of joy. Yeah. When you see other people taking these bomb photos. Yeah. Like, literally, I was just like, I don't have the time to do that anymore, and the money. Exactly. If you're not getting, if you're not on the level of, you know, these big fashion bloggers, yeah. the return versus the spend is kind of crazy. It's a lot. Yes, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. You work in your location a lot of people do this while they're on holidays. Yes. I mean, unless you're going to holiday all the time. Maldives, Bora Bora, Bora with a you nice just, location. You're yeah. just in my backyard <laughs> against the wall and that's it, literally. But yeah, it's literally one of those things that that's why I always love connecting with other bloggers because all of these questions, you don't necessarily want to ask people because you don't actually know and you just kind of then feel like it's just you. Yeah. You're the we're only all person struggling. Thing, you know, it's like we're all in the same boat. Yeah. We're all going through the same struggle, trying to like, post as much as we can for me. Content, content, content. 
10. It's crazy, but yeah, thank you guys for your insight. You're gonna be on the vlog if you don't mind. I'll be putting up your Instagrams and your websites. And do you have a, um, any other businesses? I have a website, mm -hmm. yourfavoritebees.com. I won't lie, I have a on my blog in a long time. It seems as if. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off.